Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to be looking at case analysis. So uh, most times for a particular operation, you want to know which data structure is best for it. So for example, for searching, for insertion, or for deletion, you want to know which data structure is the best for that particular operation. And the best way to know this is to analyze the data structure or the algorithm in three different cases. And these cases are best case, So the three cases are the best case, the worst case, and the average case. So these are the cases that you have to check for in the data structure or in the algorithm. However, there is more emphasis on the worst case. There is more emphasis on the worst case. And the reason is that you don't always get the best case all the time, okay? So it's better you prepare for the worst case. So to explain this concept, I'm going to be using two examples. So the first one is a linear search. In an array, the second one is Okay, so the two examples are a linear search in an array, okay? And the second example is searching a binary search tree. All right, so let's start from the first example. Okay, so let's assume you have um, an array, right? So how does the linear search work? If you are searching for a key, uh, let's call the key um, five. All right, so it begins to check from the left side. So it's check, is this equal to five? No. Is this equal to five? No. Is this equal to five? No. Is this equal to five? Yes. So, I mean, this search um, is successful. Another example, let's say you're searching for a key of 20, okay? So it begins to check, is this 20? No. Is this 20? No. Is this 20? No. Is this 20? No, like that, like that. So it, it can't find 20. Like 20 is not in the list of uh, the elements in the array, right? So this search wasn't successful, all right? So a search can either be successful or not. So this is how the linear search works, okay? So what is the best case? So the best case is searching for a key found at the first index. So in this case, the best case is when you are searching for a key that is found in the first index. So in this case, that will be searching for eight. So if you are searching for eight in this case, since eight is the first LM key, right? That is the best case. Okay, so what is the best case time? So the best case time is constant because we are only doing one comparison, which is the first comparison, right? So that is constant, okay? So I can write this here as say B of N equal to, so I'm gonna use the B connotation for now, uh, it's constant. So I believe this is 
um, simple. So let's look at the worst case. So what is the worst case? Worst case is searching for a key found at the last index. Okay. So whenever you are searching for a key that is found at the last index, that is the worst case scenario. Okay, so for example, when you are searching for seven in this case, that will be the worst case scenario. Okay, so what is the worst case time? So the worst case time will be the length of the array because seven exists at the last index, okay? And since we can't predict the size of the array, the array can be dynamic, okay? We can't know the size. So we say that the worst case time is n, okay? Where n is the size of the array, okay? So I can say the worst case time is big O of N. Okay. So let's look at the average case. So what is the average case? Okay. So the average case is, is best explained as a formula. Okay. So the average case is Okay, so the average case is the sum of all possible case time over all possible cases. So what does this mean? Okay, so this means that if you are searching for the first key, that will be one compar comparison. If you are searching for the second key, that will be two comparisons. If you are searching for the third key, that will be three comparisons. So, and so on and so forth till the end over <clears throat> all possible cases. So, all possible cases will be the total numbers here. So, in this case, that will be the length of the array, the size of the array, and that is over n. Okay? So, I believe this is kind of a simple, right? So, mathematically, we can say this is equal to n into brackets n plus 1 uh, over 2 divided by n. This is mathematical, right? So if this goes here, if this goes here, we're going to have equal to right, n plus 1 over 2. So this is the average case time. So this is the average case time. So I can say that a into bracket n equal to big O of n plus one over two. So that is the average case time. Let's look at how this relates to the asymptotic notations, okay? Okay, so the best case time is constant. Okay, so can I represent this using the big O notation? Yes, so I can write this like this. This is valid, okay? I can also decide to write this this way. So I can represent the function using 
the big omega is still valid. Okay? And I can decide to represent the best case time using the third annotation. It is still valid. Okay? So you can use any of these three notations to represent the best case time. So let's move to this. So can I say that the worst case time is big O of N? Yes, valid. Can I say that the worst case time is big theta of N? Yes, this is valid. Can I say that the worst case time is theta of N? This is also valid, okay? So the concept that big O is used to represent the worst case and the big omega is used to represent the best case and the theta is used to represent the average case is wrong, okay? So you can use any of the notations to represent any of the cases. So you can represent the worst case using the big O, you can represent the worst case using the theta, and you can also represent the worst case using the big omega. So there is nothing like big O is for worst case, big omega is for, is for best case, theta is for the average case. Please take note, this is very important. This is a common error, like, generally. Okay, so I think I've been able to, to justify uh, that now. So let's look at the second example. Searching for a key in a binary star stream. So we want to analyze this particular data structure by checking how it behaves while searching for a key in the data structure. Uh, but first, what is a binary star stream? So let me give you a general overview of what a binary search tree is. So a binary search tree is a kind of data structure where the element, okay, lesser than the key in a node is towards the right, um, is towards the left subtree, okay, and the elements that are greater than the key in a node is towards the right subtree. So what does that mean? Okay, if you check 20, all the elements in the left subtree to 20 is lesser than 20. So for example, 10, 5, 15. All these elements are less than 20. Okay? And if you check the right subtree, 30, 25, 40 are all greater than 20. Okay, and this is the same for all the elements or all the nodes in the tree. So if you check 10, 5 is less than 10, so it's at the left uh, subtree. 15 is greater than 10, so it's towards the right subtree. 25 is greater than, is less than 30, so it's at the left subtree, right? And 40 is greater than 30, so it's at the right subtree. So let's assume we are searching for a key. Uh, let's say you are searching for 15, okay? So is this 15? No, right? But it is less than 15, right? So we move towards the left uh, left child. So we come here. So is this 15? No, this is not 15. But 15 is greater than 10, right? So we know that we are moving to the right child. So we come here. So this is 15, right? So that search was successful. So this is how you search for a key in a binary search tree. Okay, so what is the best case? Best case is when you are searching for a key present at the root node. Okay, so what is a root node? Okay, so a root node is a node that doesn't have a parent. Okay, so in this case, this is uh, a root node because it doesn't have a parent, right? If you check this particular node, it has a parent, which is this node, right? But 20 exists in a node where there is no parent. It doesn't have a parent, okay? So the best case is when searching for a key present at the root node. So in this case, when you are searching for 20, so the best case is when you are searching for 20 according to this data structure. So what is the best case time? The best case time 
is constant because you are only doing one comparison, right? So you're only checking for the first node, the root node. So it's just one, so it is constant, okay? So it is constant. So let's look at the worst case. The worst case is when you are searching for a key that is present at the leaf node. So searching for a key present at the leaf node The leaf node is the worst case scenario. So what is a leaf node? So a leaf node is a node without a child. So in this case, these nodes, the last nodes here, they don't have a child, right? So they don't have something like, um, they don't have something like this, right? Like this, right? So they are the last node in the tree. The nodes, the last nodes in the tree. So these are the leaf node. Whenever you are searching for a key that exists in the leaf node, that is the worst case scenario. So for example, if you are searching for 15, if you are searching for 25, if you're searching for 40, all these are a worst case scenario in a binary search tree. Okay, what is the worst case time? So let's look at let's review how you search for a key again. Okay, so let's say you are searching for 15. Let's say you're searching for 15. Okay, so let's count the number of comparison that you are doing. So you check here, you compare it with this key. This is not 15. Then you go to the left child. Is this 15? No. So you've done two comparison, right? Then you come to the right child, then you check, then that is 15. So you've done three comparison, right? This is one, two, and three. You've done three comparison, right? So if you check the number of comparison that you've made, which is three, okay, is approximately half the size of the tree. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you divide seven by two, you would get approximately three, okay? And that is why the worst case time is log base two, of n, where n is the size of the tree, okay? Mind you, this is log, most times, um, we don't put these two, okay? Because it is normally believed that log in computer science generally means log base two, okay? So, we say this is log n, and this is also equal to the height, okay, of the tree. So the height of the tree is uh, log n. So the worst case time is log n, okay? So log base two of n will always give us half, okay, of the size, which is also the number of comparison that we are doing. So to search for 15, we did three comparison, and three is approximately half seven, which is the size of the tree. So I think that is kind of simple, okay? Now, take note that this binary tree is an example of a height balance binary tree. Okay, so let me just write that. Okay, so this is an example of a height balanced binary search tree. So this tree is balanced in height, okay? So it's possible to have the same element, but in a different structure. So let me give you an example. Okay, so now you can see that we have a different structure, right? But the elements that we have here, or the keys that we have here, are also the keys that we have here, okay? 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 25. These are the same keys that we have here, okay? But the structure is different. So this is an example of another type of binary search tree called the left skewed, skewed binary search tree, okay? Left skewed binary search tree. So let me write that down. Okay, so this is a left skewed binary search tree. 
okay so a left skewed binary star tree okay so what is the best case for this particular data structure so the best case is searching for a key present at the root node so in this case this is the root node right so the best case still takes constant time so you are only doing one comparison right so it's still constant so what is the worst case worst case is searching for a key present at the leaf node so the leaf node is in this case is this right and it carries five but what is the worst case time the worst case time will change because the number of comparisons that we'll be doing now will be the size of the tree so what does that mean if you are searching for key uh five let's check you check here it's not equal to five right so you keep checking one two three four five six seven so you are doing seven comparisons okay and this is equal to the height of the tree which in this case is n so n is the height of the tree in this case okay so the worst case time will be n so when when we are provided with this element okay the minimum height that we can get is this which is log n and the maximum height that we can get is this okay so we can conclude so we can conclude that the worst case time is not always log n right So I can say that the minimum worst case time is log n, while the maximum worst case time is what is linear. It's linear. So don't be confused, okay? Don't be confused. This is just restructuring the tree, okay? Provided when we are provided with the same elements. So let me give a summary again. Let me give a summary. The worst case is when you are searching for a key present at the leaf node, okay? In this case, the leaf node is here, and the number of comparisons that you are doing is log n, which is half the size of the tree, okay? In this case, you are doing com a comparison. Uh, the number of comparisons that you are doing is the size, okay, of the binary search tree, which is n, okay, and that's what we have here. So I hope um, you get this right. Okay, now it's, it is not always in every case that you have minimum worst case, maximum worst case. This only exists. Middle in trees, okay. Middle in trees, but I'm saying I'm uh, emphasizing on this uh, because you can face this in interviews or you know examination or something. That's why I have to point this out, okay. So the the worst case time for a binary search tree is not fixed. It depends on the structure of that binary search tree, okay. All right, everyone. Um, thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It is very, very important. More videos will be coming up. This is a series, okay? And I'll be so glad to share my knowledge with you. If you have any question, any doubt, uh, please put it in the comment box and I will definitely respond to that, okay? Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.